and welcome to Miss Temple's apartment. Yay! So when I was at my parents' house, I found this amazing, humongous bird book. And today I'm going to read the whole thing to you. Just kidding. I was inspired by some of the birds in here, and I saw that there was a page about hummingbirds. So I decided that we're going to paint or draw a picture of a hummingbird and then use watercolor to paint it in. Um, you're going to need white paper. <laughs> Let me show you my list. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to need white paper, you're going to need a pencil, and you're going to need watercolor, um, some paintbrushes, and a cup with water. Can't wait to show you what we're going to do. See you in a sec. Okay, so I have my book, I have my paper, I have my pencil right here, and I have my Sharpie. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by making a sideways rectangle. I know that sounds silly, but we're going to work inside of this rectangle to make it look more like a hummingbird. We're going to make another rectangle that's on top. So right now we have like a um, block letter T that's at an angle, right? Okay, so I'm going to make this just a little bit smaller. Okay, so next up we are going to make an oval inside of our circle. I mean, inside of our rectangle. That's gonna be the head. We're gonna give it a little triangle on top, just like that. Okay, next up, we're gonna give it an oval underneath. Maybe a little bit smaller than that, okay. Awesome. Next up, we're going to make this shape right there. It's just two lines that fan out. And inside, we're going to make a wiggly line that's for its, hum its uh, tail feathers. Okay, so now we're going to actually make that just a little bit less angular. There we go. Now we're going to give him a little belly changing it up just a little bit. Okay. Ooh, looking good so far. Okay, next up, we're gonna give it its beak. Now remember, its beak is long, long, long. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna go in here. This is gonna be the outside of its wing. And we're gonna make a wavy line that goes down, 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 and then in right before we get to its back, just like that. Awesome, I'm gonna make this just a little bit more here. There it is. Maybe I'll make this a little more flat. There we go, I think that's better. Okay, I'm going to erase the rectangles that I made as my ways to know where to put it. And now I'm gonna add some details. Making lines so that it looks like it goes down and then we go. So see what I did there? Now I'm gonna make that. I'm gonna erase this line right there and erase this. We're gonna give him this triangle shape here. Okay. We're gonna give it a stripe that goes across its face, kind of in a curve. And then we're gonna give it a beady eye. So that's a circle. Beautiful. And we're gonna put a highlight in it. And then we're gonna make a small circle that goes around it. Mmm, this hummingbird is looking so cute. I might actually give him a little bit like that. Maybe 
maybe he's not that fat. I'm gonna give him a little less here. Mm. Really nice. Okay. Now, we gotta make some flowers for this guy. So we're gonna put a big flower right here. can make it however you want. I'm just kind of winging it, making it look like fingers. And I'm going to do another big one that looks like this down here. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good about that. We're going to give him kind of looks like scales instead of feathers. Ooh, looking good. Okay, so now instead of painting my uh, hummingbird black, I'm actually going to make him uh, green and red. So he's going to be really cute. Okay, so over here I have my cup with water. I'm going to keep that there. Right here I have my watercolors. Being careful not to ruin this book, I'm actually going to move it. Pull this stuff right onto my red paper. Moving this. Okay. I'm going to start by making... I'm going to erase this line. Okay. I'm going to make my background blue first. So that way I only have to worry about my, um, my hummingbird at the end. Taking a lot of paint. Moving that over just a little bit. I'm going to try and get it so it um, has a lot of different shades of this blue. Oop, got a little drop. That's okay. I'm painting rather fast. A little bit more water, and that's okay. I would like you guys to take a little bit more time, but I don't want to have to take too much time. Okay. Now, I'm going to go in with the darkest green I have. And I'm actually going to use this brush. It's a rounder, pointed brush. I'm gonna put my picture right here so that I can see. Okay, and I'm going to make this hummingbird green in here. Maybe I'll add some of this lime green color. Ooh. I'm gonna add some black, but not a lot, but I really want it to stay. So you notice I'm mixing all my colors together, really trying to keep it so it looks super nice and blended. I'm gonna make his tail feathers black because they are black in this photo. Little too much water there. Mm. Looking pretty nice. Okay. We're gonna take this green and some of this like blue color. We're gonna go in here and we're gonna do like little um, bumps so that it looks like it's our feathers. So you want to do like a wave kind of. I'm going to go back in with this color, giving it that same wave underneath. Mm. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of black and notice how I'm making it into like a triangle, not going all the way up. 
Ooh, hoo, hoo. I'm loving this. Now I'm gonna add some water and we're gonna make the long. Now, if the pencil lines really bother you, which it can for some, um, that's okay. You can always go over them later or get rid of them before you paint. Um, I don't really mind them. I kind of like the way that they're making this look. Um, I'm gonna go in with some black and I'm gonna go underneath each one of them so that you can see that they're making an overlap. Because you want them to look like they're on top of each other. You can do a little black here so it looks a little bit better. Mmm, liking what I'm seeing. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Okay, I'm gonna take some of this and I'm gonna go in just a little bit here because we want it to be um, just a little bit shaded above. I'm gonna bring that green in there because we want it to look like it's all cohesive. Okay, now using the red i'm gonna go in with this color red which is kind of like a scarlety orangey red i'm gonna take a lot and i'm gonna first do a coat like this okay. now i'm gonna take the black just a little bit and we're gonna go in making spots maybe oop, too much maybe I'm oh, oh, oh use your finger that's the way to go and it gives it just a little bit extra Now, using the black again, um, I'm actually feeling like I made his head just a little too big. So I'm gonna cut it down just a little bit, there we go. And I'm gonna use the black to paint in. I'm actually gonna make my red a little bit bigger too. move the eye down that looks a little bit better so while you're painting you don't have to go with your first gut painting like you can change it around as much as you want it's yours so I'm gonna go like this mm -hmm. paint this in black gonna do some of this and then I'm gonna go with that red color mm -hmm. I like that better okay now with the dark green and some of this lime green I'm gonna go in up here I'm actually gonna add some black to that as well. So it looks like he's got those tiny, tiny little feathers. Taking the black, we're gonna go into his little beak here. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, I'm gonna do this down here just a little bit more. Mm. Now I'm gonna take some black and some of that dark green and we're gonna make it so that it fades in there. 
Oh, so nice. Okay. So now you see I'm doing these little strokes so that it looks like he's got feathers. Oh, hoo -hoo, I really like what I'm seeing. Okay, next up we're gonna paint the flowers. I'm gonna start with this pink color. But you can choose to make your flowers. Well, I'm actually gonna use a bigger brush. Um, I'm gonna use some pink. Very willy-nilly with this. Okay. Maybe another flower here. And some water. Again here. Now what I'm gonna do is take this purple color, go on the inside of my flower. Don't worry too much about the details of it, but it makes it look like you're going inside of our flower. Right? I'm gonna add some of my scarlet. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I really like what I'm seeing. Okay, and that is how you paint a hummingbird. I'm going to take my pointy brush. I'm going to take my black. I'm going to dip just a little. And I'm going to put my initials right in the corner. HT20! Exclamation point. Okay, I can't wait to see what you come up with with your hummingbird. Um, you can send them to me at htemple at schools.nyc.gov. You can tag me on Instagram at Miss Temple's Apartment, or you can dojo them to me. Can't wait to see. Hope you had a good time.